Learned you had a very important call from a very important man being considered tonight, but you may take the call of the Lennons to down the hotline. Why, thanks, Queenie. Hello, you are talking to the one and only Len Amsterdam from Canada. Hi, Len. This is Morris B. Rainville from Sudbury, Canada, phoning in to do an interview for the Len Amsterdam radio show. Hey, Morris. Uh, we'll just start off by saying uh, I am seeing a pattern develop here with uh, you and the uh, white uh, cowboy hats. Can we expect in the future to see you heading over to the dark side and putting on a uh, black Stetson? Maybe scuff up those cowboy boots a bit? Well, I don't know, Len. I've developed this image as a hard-working, clean-living, sharply-dressed Canadian country gentleman. A black hat might get people thinking I'm some mean hombre, when that is not the case. Unless, of course, I'm working on a song with the wild man from Brisbane. Who? Huh? Well, uh, image is everything. So what was your first uh, instrument? Well, my first instrument was a Palm Beach guitar from the Sears catalog, and the strings were a half inch from the neck. About two guitars later, I finally got my Martin flat top, and then later on my Fender Strat. My Martin is still the one that I use all the time today. So, Mr. Rainville, um, who are your musical influences? Musical influences? There are so many. I guess you could say the beginning, Hank Williams, and then later on, Hank Williams Jr., Bill Monroe, Ray Charles, David Allen Coe. Now straight from the heart. The Eagles, Merle Haggard, J.J. Kale, Vern Gosden, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, and there's so many more. How would you classify um, your music? Well, I can't really classify my music. I would say country, some traditional, some folk style. When I work on a song, I think about that after it's finished. I play what I feel at the time. I don't try to follow a trend, as you might call it. What do you think is uh, important in this life? I think the importance in life is helping others with any knowledge that you have that will help make their life better. Since we are all one, sharing with others is the ultimate purpose for being here on this third rock. Wow, that's uh, pretty heavy, Mo. What brings on a good song? Well, the best songs come through the subconscious and always seem to write themselves. Songs about real life happenings always seem to have the most success. So what do you think of the World Wide Web? Oh, the Internet, that's the greatest thing to happen in a long time. It is revolutionizing the music industry. I feel like I have made so many friends I've never even seen. It seems to make We Are All One much more a reality. Pretty heavy, Mo. Thanks to people like yourself, who use your radio stations to make those songs heard. Also thanks to sites like Project Overseers, SoundClick, SongPlanet, FunEnder, MySpace, and many others. The people who started these sites knew what the future of music would become. Did the uh, Mississauga man <laughs> really live in Mississauga? Talk a little bit about the Mississauga man. Well, I moved to Mississauga in 1985, and in the early 90s, after having a few singles on the country charts in RPM Weekly, I was thinking of releasing a CD. I was working with this melody on guitar, and my wife heard it. She went in the other room and emerged about a half hour later and told me, Here, I have the song and title for your CD. The song was called The Mississauga Man, and that became the CD title. The song was in the RPM Top 20 Country Charts in 1993 and charted for a total of 17 weeks. How long have you been singing? Well, then, from the earliest I can recall, I used to sing all the time. There was always such a strong desire there that eventually 
I started singing with any band, any chance I could get, until I had my own. That brings me to my next question. Who were the Rainvilles? Our first recordings were on the Melbourne label in Canada in the 70s, and my wife and I were known as the Rainvilles. Two albums were released, and we had five or six singles reach the top 20 on RPM country charts during those years. Well, that's a wrap. I just want to thank uh, Morris P. Rainville for uh, swinging by. Morris P. Rainville is on the top of my playlist and should be on yours, too. This is the Len Amsterdam Show, broadcasting from Canada, heard worldwide. This is Morris P. Rainville telling you that Len Amsterdam doesn't have record company consultants telling him what to play. He plays a wide variety of music people love to hear. <laughs>